I'm Aubrey Osorio. And I'm Michael Mansura, and welcome to Mustang Mix. Hey Mike, did you know that opening night for the Crucible is tomorrow? Oh yeah, I did. I'm pretty excited about it. Then what are we hanging around here for? This is going out to kids. Like, that was actually really inappropriate. Why would you say that? I'm sorry. The setting for The Crucible is the Salem Witch Trials. It's about a, a town where a bunch of people are convicted of witchcraft. People were being accused of witchery for various different reasons and were being hanged and persecuted. Um, the church and state were still one, so if you went against the church, you also went, went against the state. Abigail Williams and all of her friends went dancing in the woods one night. A whole series of events unfolds with um, Abigail's uncle trying to figure out what exactly happened. And Abigail Williams tries to blame it on other people, um, which is kind of the start of the blaming of all the witches. Throughout the play, we find more about John Proctor's character and how authoritative he is. And over time, more people get accused, and one of the people that get accused is his wife. Abigail is very in love with my husband, and so <laughs> she decides to accuse me to try to get me killed because she wants to have him all to herself. Well, The Crucible is a lot different from any play or musical I've ever done because it's a lot more serious and it's a lot more professional. The Crucible being an allegory is very much what differentiates itself from others. Uh, if it was just a, a regular show, then it wouldn't be so widely performed as it is today. Jeff McCarthy and Abigail Williams are kind of like the same person because they both accuse people that aren't necessarily guilty. It's really hard to imagine um, how everything you did had an impact on other people's lives, not only your own. Uh, Miss Pets has, it definitely expects a lot from us with the seriousness of the show. Well, some of us have never done anything as serious as The Crucible. Crucible is very different than any of the other shows that have happened here. There was like a lot of people that died. It was a pretty morbid time in history. I don't understand why you thought that was the opportune time to make the joke. You know what? I'm sorry, okay? No, I mean like, it's pretty sadistic that a teenager would joke around like that. You know what? Speaking of teenagers, do you like uh, improvised comedy? No. Then you'll love comedy sports. Oh my gosh, they cannot play sports. Yeah, that was the uh, point of the piece. <laughs> anyway, Mike, is there something that you really wish for? Um, a new co-host. Uh, here's a piece on Week of Wishes. Do you really want a new co-host? Yeah. What did you wish for? I did wish for world peace, and I wish for my dog to get out of surgery okay on Monday, and to end world hunger, and you know, all that stuff. I also wish you liked me. I wished for someone to bring me in and out for lunch tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.
You know, my uh, my birthday is actually on Week of Wishes. So. That's insane. <laughs> my birthday is on Week of Wishes as well. Oh, no way. All, yeah. right, all right. Let's say the date on three. All right, okay. Ready? All right. All right. One, two, three, December 16th. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, what? Hey man, you're the best co host. You're the oh, best co host. Get out of here. Oh my god. Oh man. This is insane. Wild. This is crazy that we're together, it. you know? Yeah. Well, I, I think that's it for us. Make sure to go support your Mustangs in the CIF Championship football game coming up. <laughs> and you know what, Mustangs? Why don't you race your way into the end zone? <laughs> Alright, I, I made a mistake. I want Aubrey back. What? What is it? Look, okay, what's the right? I can be. I can just do a different joke. No, I can just cool. do a different joke. It's cool. It doesn't have to be a joke thing. You tried. It's not for everybody. All right. It's been a weird episode, Mustangs. But I think that's gonna do it for us. Have a happy third period. <laughs>